Uh, hi everyone, I think that's us, Deirdre from Deirdre's Reborns. And it is, yeah, she is quite heavy to hold up like that. Come on, Mrs. Behave. This is for Tuesday, but I'm not going to do diaper. Tuesday today, diaper and t-shirt. Just got little D here again. I can't bear to take this outfit off her. Yeah, a little bit out of breath, setting everything up. A lupus out update first. I don't want to keep everybody too long. I got my phone call today, so I don't have to go into the hospital. My Amelie's count is down, so that's good. I was able to just take two antibiotics at home. And the pancreatitis is fine. Thank God for that. And I got the other phone call, so the assessment crew... With the mental side of things, they have decided to, it's a psychologist I'm going to be seeing, one-to-one, -one. I'm not sure. Um, maybe somebody out there knows exactly what the difference is, because there's psychiatrists, there's psychotherapists, there's psychologists, there's counsellors. Anyway, this is going to be like a first, it's eight assessments to find out then if I need any more or what's happening, and they think there's some kind of abandonment issue. That's all she said on the phone. Maria, she was quite nice. So I'm pleased about that because I thought at one stage they weren't going to offer me anything. And I'm sorry because I still don't know where this camera is. I think that's it. Hi. And yes, the nursery is almost complete. Just a matter of doing the floor now. And I'll come back and show you that later. And I'm so pleased with it. Because as you know, I moved into the small room again. And I thought I was just going to have little D and Autumn. And now Autumn has gone to my sweet friend Scott. And I have four surprises coming after Christmas from four fantastic uh, artists. I'm so excited about that. And I'm not telling you anything else. But I won't have them, unfortunately, for Christmas. But as you know, I did get Rialda back. So I'm going to try and dress those tomorrow in their Christmas outfits. So this is my precious little D. As you know, it's my, my therapy doll. And she actually has helped me a lot. I'm so sorry because it's just braid chatter going on today. I'm actually doing a shout out for Yvonne from having you on. Yes, and I say it like that because the minute I like open one of her videos, I just love her cheerful voice and Hi, it's Yvonne from having you on. I'm not good at doing accents, sorry about that Yvonne, but I really love her. She's very inspirational, very upbeat. And I think sometimes she is having us on because she has... Her own problems and pain and things that she think she hates. Um, you know, and she's all about cheering other people up. And, you know, I'm just a motor about mine, as you know. So you are just wonderful for doing that, Yvonne. And I think you do help a lot of people. Um, Yvonne, from having you on, I'm sure everybody already has her anyway. Anybody watching this, any of my friends or her friends as well. But if not, please go and check her out because you, you literally are missing out on something. She's a wonderful, just one of those really human, decent people. You know, and they are few and far between these days. So, I love you, Yvonne, and I hope that everybody will check you out. And also today, there's uh, Ginny Creations. I'm sure you all know Ginny as well. And we have to do a story for her about our kids for the giveaway. Or um, something maybe you did yourself as a kid or whatever. So, Ginny, I'm going to talk about my little madam. My firstborn, Catherine. And um, as you all know, she was just a saviour to me at that time in my first um, marriage. And my sister Margaret, we used to get together every single day and we, you know, we went into the town together and it was so fun we used to have the same conversations. She had her little boy in the pram and I had uh, Catherine. I think they were actually just almost three at this time. They were out of the pram, actually. And we used to talk about the gloves, the same conversations all the time. Like, um, he just keeps, he just won't keep those gloves on. And we, this was every single time and then one day I said it to her, she just, burst out laughing and um yeah it was so funny but th this day we were in it was Dunn's stores at the time we were looking at all the baby outfits and just we could hear them laughing they, they were so close you know at that time because they were so much together 
it would have been them and my other sisters, Kevin. Kevin has entered the building. I always say that. He's just such a star. He's a little bit different like myself, but I love that about him. Um, different in a good way, Kevin. So, yeah, but Kevin wasn't here this day. It was Michael and Catherine. And we just chatting away, as two mums do, and just let go of their hands for one second, and they normally would have been just standing there. We were just, I was trying to find a size for her or something like that. And then we looked around like two seconds later, and they're gone. And um, it only took about two seconds of looking. That's all I did. And I started going into like panic mode. And um, everybody was looking everywhere. And thank goodness we found them very quickly because we heard laughter. And we ran over. It was like big, big, tall windows used to go then, you know, around the outside of the store. And they were right up and right down to the bottom and you could like climb onto them. You know, and they had their uh, mannequins on there with the clothes and sitting there in the middle uh, was standing actually was Catherine and Michael was sitting there and they were just waving away and a crowd had gathered outside and it was coming up to Christmas and I said afterwards I think that they thought that was something that the store had put on for some kind of amusement or something because they were standing and like Catherine's daughters now even though there wasn't selfies and all that but she was a poser as well and she was all smiling and screwing her face up like that and waving and and winking, doing all this with the shoulders, and they were loving it outside. They were all, yay, cheering, and oh my goodness. I was just, we were so proud of them at the same time then. We, we knew we should have been like getting onto them, as we call it. So we just, we took them into the cafe then, and we said, oh, you made so many people happy. And, but the only thing is like, you know, you should have taken your mommy along with you. And we could have done it together because we were very worried and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But, we couldn't even be cross with them because it just cheered us up no end that day. And my sister Margaret, of course, always had terrible problems as well at that time. So it was just a bit of relief for both of us. And you know, Catherine really was my saviour during a bad time. From she was born, I became strong. And it was through her that I was able to end the abuse. And um, I love her so much to this day. So yeah, what do you think about that, little D? Yep. You did. You went on that adventure. Or you, you know, whatever you will do in the future. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the crowd outside were just loving it. So, at, uh, I think Catherine, she, was, she would have been three that year. The 20, yeah, eight, three days after Christmas is her birthday. So she would have been three. Like, and this was about five days before Christmas. So, yeah, she was almost three. And she was a star already. And she, like, there was... 30 or 40 people, at least if not more, gathered outside because I really think they thought it was part of the entertainment or something. And Michael was just so happy. He was sitting there with his legs crossed. He was watching Catherine and then, you know, not quite so outgoing, but just enjoying the, the whole thing immensely as well. So I hope you like that, Ginny. Ginny's creations. And if you don't have her, please, please go and check her out. She is another just wonderful human being and you will be, you're missing out on something if you don't go there. You will really, really enjoy her so much. And she's so interesting and she thinks of different, you know, different things to say and different things to do. And it's it's hard sometimes, you know, in the reborn community, it's hard to sort of think of different stuff, isn't it, to talk about and to do. And Ginny is all about that and I love her. She's also so positive, so... Love to Ginny, love to Yvonne from having you on. Okay, bye everybody. God bless.